news. Uh, Simu. So Simu, and I wanted to bring this up, not just because like there was an update. So there was an update to it, version 1.21.2. Um, and, and just the way that they work, they have a very strong Patreon backing. So they release it to their Patreon members and then a week later to the public. So this version is available to the public. And there's been a whole host of changes around um, how uh, the shader modules are compiled. So it actually allows for asynchronous compilation. So like multi-threaded compilation. And that's quite critical because what it means is you can distribute the work across your graphics card. And it means the games are much more responsive. Um, And there's just other been uh, further improvements. Like they've got uh, integer texture samplers now. So just like they're constantly chipping away at it. But I I just wanted to raise this because... We haven't mentioned Simu before, but it is so incredible to me that, you know, I remember that for a time period, you know, with like being really into emulation and then it's like, there's not really a good PlayStation or PlayStation 2 emulator, even 64. And then to me, the fact that there's a insanely good, like you pretty much can play any Wii U game on the PC is just so mind blowing to me. And thank you. Just I was clear, waiting for you to say what platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, <laughs> yeah, where you, where you, you this discussion by searching <laughs> you is going to know. But anyone that's listening to the full podcast uh, is just going to be like, what, the <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what, what is it? What is it emulating? <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, a couple of things off the bat. Like, don't ask us for ROMs, don't ask us for anything like that. We'll just delete those comments. Um, and, you know, like, I own Zelda multiple times over. So do you. You own the Wii U and the st- and the Switch version. Um, for me, like, what is really interesting is that, you know, there's all these mods and hacks and things you can do with Zelda. And we've even got on our YouTube channel a video playing in the background. You know, like, you can get, like, ray tracing working in Zelda and the way that Zelda looks, like they've got it up to 4K now. It looks like insane. It looks so awesome. Like all the bones of that game are there. It's for when, you know, there is a more powerful Nintendo system. They're going to re-release it, of course. It's such a massive game. And honestly, like I was playing through Zelda and then I also played Hyrule Warriors as well, just given my recent passion for that game. And it does make me go, oh man, I like... I know, even though I've spent, I think, 270 hours in Breath of the Wild, which is a lot for me because I don't have that much time, you know, when they do have a new revision of the Switch or something like that, I'm just going to end up going back and playing through that game from scratch again. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just it's just wild that there's like an emulator and it's been around for ages as well. Like, that's the interesting thing. Like, it was out even when the Wii U was out. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's really you know, quite advanced. And I think a big part of it is that, you know, a lot of the modern consoles actually use hardware that's more comparable to modern PCs. Whereas back in the day with the 64, it was so bespoke, the type of chips that they use, that it's actually hard to emulate. Even 64 emulation isn't that great even today um, compared to even, I'd say, Simu. So yeah, I just wanted to mention it. I'm probably not going to mention every single update because they do update it frequently, but yeah, you can play Breath of the Wild with so many hacks and obviously uh, have the real sort of version of that game uh, in your library. But, you know, it's really cool to play it and it just gives you a different way to experience some of these games and sort of just a different look. And, you know, especially a game like that, it's quite visually appealing. So is that something you've ever like booted up, any of these modern emulators? 100% not. Um, <laughs> so, not really. Yeah, the I think the only reason I'd ever go down that route myself is if there's a game that, let's say is only released in Japan and I really want to play. Um, ah, okay. No chance of it ever coming to, you know, outside Japan and I don't have a means of importing it or playing it or there's a, you know, language barrier or whatever. Language barrier would obviously still exist, but then I haven't spent $200 to import it um, to try it. Yeah. Back, you know, so, um, but it is cool. I'm, <laughs> there's a part of me, it's like, hmm, is there a way to like, uh, are there quality of life, to me, quality of life hacks for Breath of the Wild. It takes that parts of it that I don't like out of it. Um, like what? Well, like I know, like we're going to dedicate an entire episode to why you dislike that game. But, oh, like what? What would be one thing? I, I don't like the inventory management. Don't like the uh, weapons breaking. Don't like any of that. Oh, okay. okay. Never. No, been, they're, they're fundamental. That's never been <laughs> a thing in uh, Zelda up to that point. So, um, but it's good. Uh, hopefully, it fixes the frame rate problems as well. So. 
No, well, yeah, and, and that's kind of, okay, so, like, for me, you know, and I think I said this in the last podcast, but, like, back in the day when I didn't have as much cash, I did emulate games to be able to play games, and I'm not in that position now, which is fortunate, but I, I don't really ever play these games as the only way to play it. Like, I've got a Wii U. Um, like, that's actually how I play some of these games. Like, that's how I tried out Hyrule Warriors, but, you know, with this it's more about like you know the mods that you can do to games like breath of the wild that just to me is so cool and yeah they've got it running and they've hacked it so that you can run it at 60 frames a second and it and like 4k 60 frames a second it just looks like incredible man it just like it just shows you like if it was a hypothetical you know xbox or playstation game it would just look bonkers like just one of those ones would just be instantly game of the year it wouldn't even be a debate for people i think um, so that's normally like why I'm using these ones or, you know, there's, there's, you know, mods and patches and translations that they do that you just can't get on the consoles themselves, uh, that just sort of make it a bit more interesting. And, uh, let's move to my favorite segment. 